You're listening to Moon Monkey. On this episode, we talk about Welcome to Marwin, directed by Robert Zemeckis. Uh, so, Welcome to Marwin uh, tells the story of a man who's been through a horrific attack and he finds solace in his uh, miniatures, which he takes photographs of. Uh, before the attack, he was an artist, a painter, um, and doing incredible work and had, uh, was very into World War II. And then, unfortunately, after this incident, uh, he's unable to draw anymore, uh, so he basically turns to photography and creates a little miniature village. And basically the film sort of takes you on a journey that through the... The dolls basically became the guy's rehabilitation, and the way the film does it is in using CG and having dolls come to life. It sort of tells the story of what happened to him pre-attack through the through this... And how he's dealing with it through that, through that world that he's yeah. created. I mean, it's a very, very weird film. Yeah. Uh, like, it opens, uh, it's got Steve Carell, who's playing the main character, um, uh, Mark... Um, Hogan Camp. Hogan Camp. Um, and he also plays Hoagie, who's the sort of uh, pilot model. Yeah, yeah. World uh, War II pilot. Yeah, so it's basically like cutting back and forward, and it's like all the people in the real world are represented as models in his miniature village. Um, so it starts as him as the model, and he's going through it's like occupied Germany, um, and you later discover in the film that it was Nazis who attacked him, yeah, and so Nazis who attacked him. So it's all relevant to like his psyche and what's going on inside he, his like, head. Don't they seem like you say it, it's him as a doll? He's a fighter pilot. He crashes. He's supposed to crash in like occupied Belgium or something like that, and he, he then his character of uh, Captain Hoagie or whatever. Uh, drives around in the jeep and meets the Nazis mm. and drives to the town of Marwin that he's created, and uh, all the all the dolls who are the women in his life that have helped him yeah. through re- rehabilitation or yeah, it's care. either his co-workers or his care yeah. or his or the pe- the the, the woman that owns the model shop um, yeah, but that that whole world is turned upside down, and a new doll is introduced to the world when he gets a, a neighbour from across the street yeah. um, who moves in. And that changes his little uh, town of Marwin, mm. but yeah, it's a, it's a it's a it's a unique way of looking at yeah. trauma. There in, was in actually this world. A, yeah, there's there's actually been a documentary uh, made of about Mark Hogan Camp's life mm. uh, because he does do exhibitions and shows his artwork off, um, and they made a documentary uh, which we haven't seen. No, but I feel like this story is much more suited to a documentary than a than a film because it's so odd it's such a weird it's such a strange story that it doesn't quite fit neatly into the narrative that's set out by a film like it doesn't have the beats that you expect it to have just because it's a real life story well it's it's tough because it's like it feels like two stories because you've got like Mark in the real world Mm. and then you've got uh, Mark as Captain Hoagie going around and as with the dolls so you're, you're cutting between the two and whenever there's trauma in the real world he retreats into his, his world of dolls in, mm. in the town, so it's 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 a big it's a big con that you've got to appreciate. Like they've went for it, they went for this oh, weird yeah. kind of way of telling the story, and it is like Robert Zemeckis who does do those big kind of movies like Forrest Gump, and I feel like they're trying to get that feeling of this kind of character who's not really within society, but who's kind of lovable. But yeah. I feel like uh, Steve Carell. Um, I feel struggles like struggles to get that feeling across to the to the audience, but I think it's because you're split between two worlds. I feel like hard to Robert Zemeckis, like he's known for the kind of epic scale movies. Yeah, you've got. But like, this is a very personal story about this one man's struggle, but it tries to make it as though like it's a there's some epic nature to it, but it's really like would have been better as a much more small scale. Um, but the way for it, I've got to appreciate the way yeah. for it. But I loved like the special effects and the CG and the animation. I thought were fantastic. And like if it had been an animated film just set in that world, like it would have been quite enjoyable. It's like you say, it's the fact they're cutting between two different stories that don't quite gel together um, as well as they should do. Um, but like the actual like like the, I, for me, like the first part of the film, it started quite slowly. It started picking up when you find out about his attack, which is a horrific story uh, because he was basically abused because uh, he likes wearing women's heels. 
Yeah, or he has a thing for wearing women's heels. And like I say, he was beaten up by a group of Nazis, which is just like a horrible, horrible thing. And like him coming to terms with that and the trauma, but that for me was some of the best bits and allowed Steve Carell to sort of show his like mm-hmm. acting ability. Um, but then the bits with the dolls, it kind of, there was no, not as much tension there. Like I get what they were doing. They were like exploring the psychology through the dolls. But because you're aware, like, nothing can really happen to these dolls. Like, this is just... Uh, yeah, it's, 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 the story it's, that it's more like you just see, like, the the pain of the of the character and what he's going through. And day-to-day yeah. life, like, every, every struggle that he has has to go back to this, this world. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, it is, it's, it's, it's quite hard to, to follow and really get into, like, emotionally. Um, I think that's why I really struggle for, for the big moments... When the character like uh, realizes about you know changes in his life and whether or not he's going to be able to cope with that, mm. it doesn't really hit home with me. And it's nothing to do with like the performances or anything like that. I just feel like the story is quite hard to to get behind because I love Steve Carell. The reason I went to see it is because mm. I'm Steve Carell. I'm a big fan of uh, his acting. I think he can do CU stuff really well with like uh, Foxcatcher and uh, Big Short and stuff like that. Yeah, or or Vice. But yeah, like, at the end of the movie, when it shows you his gallery and his pictures, like, they're fantastic. And the guy's story is really interesting. Mm. So I would definitely recommend people look him up and look at, like, research the story. But I feel like the film didn't do justice to his story, his struggle. Uh, So that was our review of Welcome to Marwin. Uh, Make sure to tune in in future for more reviews.